with Ward Magazine and Superlative TV and I'm here with uh, Stan and Emma and I want to know about your work. What, what are you about? Tell us what you're doing and how it's going at the moment. What did you do? What did you show this evening at Flat Time House? Uh, we showed a video from last year um, that we didn't really do anything with until now. <laughs> so we're pretty happy as in something. What, what, what was it like? What was it about? What were you doing? It's, um, it was a montage of CGI kind of fragments from the past, like vintage computer graphics type stuff. Oh. And we redid it with soundtrack and stuff like that. So like what provoked you to start doing work work about this? Like why why did, why, why why CGI in particular? I guess it's like a lot of the stuff you see is made on like kind of like most advanced computers of the time and stuff. And like nineteen eighty six only like really big Brands have the budget to like yeah, sponsor like something that or oh, inevitably ended up in advertising. Yeah. So a lot of it is kind of like advert driven or like station ident driven and stuff like that. So yeah. you have these very short segments that don't really outside of like. But they all kind of come together really well. Like I don't know, they're all pretty similar because yeah. there's only about three or four companies who actually made them. Exactly. And so you have these like really, really, really intense constraints on like any kind of digital video you could do back then. And so it all ends up looking like one coherent style. And with with what you're doing, taking these images or taking these videos do you think like you're revisiting like a, a history what was and trying to like understand that within the construct of a lot of CGI that's going on at the moment you know with these top high CGI things that are going on at the moment in comparison to what was before I feel like it's got nothing to do with contemporary anything it's yeah. just like yeah. a complete like guided like tour of the past yeah. Yeah. Right. It's like, <laughs> right. so it's like yeah. a, a safari of uh, CGI yeah it's CGI yeah. safari and initially so what what is it about Peckham that like influenced your work? Because you know you're in Pami, you're doing this thing, like you're in this area. Is there anything that stimulated or at least influenced some of your work? No, it's got a good scene though. I went to college here, but I don't think it's anything to do with it. I think it's like um good good stuff going on here. So yeah, just a good crowd of people. Like, not expressly Peckham, but it just it's amazing it like this. walking down the road and seeing the influence exerted by Lucky PDF and seeing their like posters everywhere. Yeah, like that. yeah. And it's like just becoming a movement in itself. Do you think it's like a smaller community here that's why it works so well to get these sort of like bubbling art scene thing that's yeah. going on at the moment? Yeah, college vibes. Yeah, it's college. Good. <laughs> I wish I lived here. Did I? <laughs> I think I wish I lived here before well, I, I moved. Anyway, so it was nice to talk to the both of you. Get a bit of what you're doing, but. Do you have any projects that you're working on now, moving on, you know, maybe people, yeah. we're doing things we should look out for in the future? We're doing a video right now for, what's it called? For it's a uh, Lucky PDF uh, channel on Freeze. Mm, that sounds and interesting. It's, it's so. almost similar vibes <laughs> in a way, but uh, it's yeah. going to have a kind of like live performance. And it's going to be actual videos that we recorded It'll as be, opposed to fans. Exactly. Cool. Do you have a, uh, like a, a website or a Tumblr that you like at the moment? Uh, that's just like really inspiring like that you want to just give to the people who are watching Oh, one that we like. like or yeah, something that's really interesting. I you like. know, you find all these blogs that are really crazy. And it's after the end of the world for music. It's really good. After the end yeah. of the world. It's after the end of the world. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, after the end of the world for music yes, dot com uh, uh, blog. Just, we'll just someone just blogspot.com dot blogspot dot com. That's good. Uh, okay. Okay. We're looking at yeah, I'm at the <laughs> Thank you so much, and we are looking forward to seeing your work at Pammy at the Flat Time House. Thank you very much, and Stan. Yes,